Alrighty here, here's the last one for the night because it is getting late and I want to get one more last shelf in there. So we're going to start now with Ray Harry has those Earth vs. Flying Saucers. Uh, great film, I uh, really like this edition here. Uh, some great featurettes in it. Oh, got a couple of Blu rays in there, I guess. And uh, Saw 4. Uh, not bad, actually. This one here. It's a, it's a four horror four pack. Uh, it's got a uh, the attic, uh, outrage Carver, and the one I got it for was uh, Midnight Movie, which is actually really really highly underrated, good film. I uh, got and have not watched yet. You can tell me if this is any good or not. Dorian Gray, uh, starring Ben Burns. Okay. Oh. Uh, Got the harder one to get right now. It's uh, Monique Gabrielle and Eric Estrada in uh, the classic exploitation film Angel Eyes by Rich Media. I found their stuff really hard to get now. Tourist Trap, one of my favorites. A really, really great one by Full Moon in their early years. I think back, this was back when they were called Wizard, but uh, great. If you haven't got it, pick it up. Uh, classic film uh, Taming of the Shrew, Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, and of course Richard Burton and you know they always work well together next up is Bellstar Galactica, this is the original movie for the uh, and uh... this is extra special to me because it's actually signed by Richard Hatch Daddy? Uh -huh. when I first heard about the movie I heard about it in a random TV show I was watching and I didn't believe it was an actual like thing what was it? was just fake Bellstar Galactica it's not. That's a TV series. It's a big one. I know. Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Great movie. And if you're a fan of the movie Ted, then you really know about this movie here, Flash Gordon. <laughs> uh, I, have, uh, th I think th thought it was a fun movie. This is a special edition version of it. It's the best one to get. Uh, different version. Box for Serenity. Great. One. And because my better half loves it. Fire Escape, Peacekeeper Wars. Yes, I have the doll, the whole series, and the Peacekeeper Wars as well. What did I buy this one? Is it? Okay. This is a really horrible movie. The Day the Earth Stood Still. But the horrible movie also had the 1951 movie on, on DVD in it as well. So, that's why I have it. Of course, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Next up is actually a fun little film. It's kind of I found it kind of funny, and the other guy that squirmed, Jeff Lieberman. It's uh, Satan's Little Helper. Uh, a really strange film. I like it though. Next up are seasons four, five, and six of X Files because those are the ones I found for fifty cents each. What? Yes, I did. I like X Men. It's an awesome show. Transformers. Michael Bay. Yeah, I'm a Transformers fan. And of course, the next Doctor with uh, David Tennant and David Morrissey. Uh, I have this one because I'm a huge, huge David Morrissey fan. It's great to see David Tennant and David Morrissey back together again after Blackpool. And yeah, I know Jay last summer because it's one of the slasher films that you know it should be in our best collection because it's you know it's just just a little fun little film. Uh, if a tree falls, it's kind of like a Grinus film. Uh, pretty cool, actually. Uh, I've got the poster signed by the entire cast. And, uh, I actually enjoyed it. There's a sequel coming out. Next up is another one of my four film favorites, and this is a really cool one. Uh, it's the, uh, Black Exploitation one. Uh, it's called the Urban Action Collection, but it's Black Exploitation. Black Samson, Black Belt Jones, of course, it's Jim Kelly, Hot Potato, and uh, Three the Hard Way. Just some really cool action films. And Final Destination, the 3D one. This was probably one of the worst Final Destination films, but uh, I want to get them all. Uh, real big fan of this one, actually. Uh, it's a really cool series. If you haven't checked it out and you can do it, do it. This is Tense Mort. Uh, it's a sci fi series, kind of sci fi horror type thing. This is season two, but uh, it actually came with uh, season one. Well included, 
that's an indie thing done out of Montreal. So it's in French, and it's, it's subtitled. Really cool stuff. Uh, I'm not a fan of this film. It's not bad. I picked it up. Uh, but it's uh, it's kind of cool. It's the uh, Van Helsing, the ultimate uh, collector's edition. It had a lot of features on it, and uh, this actually the, it had a third disc that I jacked to Frankenstein and the Wolfman, the original movies, which I've got a dozen times over, but to have another edition of them is actually not a bad deal, so... Next up was when I found back when there was a bargain, 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 bargain store, which there isn't anymore, and it's The Curse of Frankenstein and Taste the Glove Dracula. Being a huge Hammer fan, I cannot pass this up. Uh, even if I'd had them, I would have gotten this double feature again. As you notice, this one's not even opened up, so I probably have this one in another collection. My next up was another one I found there, actually. It was a Val Luton one. I really need to get the whole set. It's a Body Snatcher and a Walk the Zombie. Body Snatcher is one of my favorites, actually. Uh, back with Ray Harryhausen again. It came from Beneath the Sea. Cool film. Great features. It's Harryhausen. It's going to be cool. Uh, the wrestling ones, the most powerful families in wrestling. Pretty cool. Uh, decent documentary. Uh, very cool. Lots of great features, but I'm really excited about getting the Blu-ray from Screen Factory. And that is Cat People. Speaking of Cat People, my cat's up top there. Can you see him? Oh, my cat's. Uh, next up is, I used to have the uh, Blu-ray set, but I lost it, unfortunately, this one. And this is the only one I have now, and it is a uh, Blade Runner, the, uh, the Final Cut. Okay. Let's move these here in a bit so that I can actually get at some of my other stuff. Uh, Scanner Darkly. It's a cool film. I like Richard Linkletter and... Uh, just uh, some really cool stuff there. Uh, oh, okay, Dick, so. Of course, Stargate Ultimate Edition. I also have this on Blu-ray, but we're big Stargate fans of the movie and the TV series, actually. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Stargate The Ark of Truth it's from the uh, from the TV movies. Uh, Target's really, really great film. Uh, Boris Karloff, one of his uh, last films, I think, and uh, actually just I'm glad he got to do something like that later in late in his career. Hey, anyway, uh, Bellegar should has probably reviewed this one actually. Uh, Hound of the Baskervilles, the uh, of course the uh, Basil Rathbone, uh, not Joe Bruce version, and this has a really cool commentary by uh, David Stewart Davis on here. And uh, of course, this is a this is actually a region one. I'm surprised because I think I got this from England. Under the Scares is a really cool indie documentary on uh, on horror. You know, interviews a lot of them: George Romero, Herschel Gordon Lewis, Debbie Roshan, uh, Tom Sullivan. Just a lot of really cool stuff. Next up is the uh, the Pretender, the uh, movie edition that has the uh, two Pretender movies: the Pretender two thousand one movie and Pretender All of the Haunted. Unfortunately, neither one of them really uh, clued up the storyline, but uh, uh, just. Uh, Great visual film, actually. I actually like this. Uh, like Water for Chocolate. I make no excuses, but stuff I like. Kind of girlish or not. Uh, Slave of the Cannibal Gods. I think this is the one without the uh, st scenes that I did not want to see. The animal scenes. Uh, Wreck 2. Great film. Love the Wreck films. Third one I like the least. Uh, this was a find, actually, for me, because uh, I've been looking all over for this movie, and uh, I was so happy to find it, even on, like, a smaller label, and that's uh, Don't Open Till Christmas. Uh, I'm a big fan of, like, Christmas horror, and uh tried to get them all. And I uh, picked this up. I want to get the big edition of this down the road, made the Blu-ray set, and that's the subspecies one from uh, uh, Echo Bridge Full Moon. It's a uh, subspecies, subspecies... 2 Bloodstone and Subspecies 3 Bloodlust. Also, grab the 8 pack here, and I grabbed this one mostly for uh, Meridian and Witchcraft 13. The Witchcraft movies are horrible, but I uh, enjoyed them. Next ones were done by two people, but I'm actually the same guy. And one he played Dracula, and the other he played uh, Sherlock Holmes. And uh, obviously, I, uh, this guy that I met, and 
really really nice guy who's trying to get like this type of the old style movies done again it's Terror Jack like, you can find this one in the Walmarts now but back then you couldn't so just at the convention and Sherlock Holmes and the Shadow Watchers a uh, really great guy I haven't had a chance to sit in and really watch those yet because I got so much stuff here and uh but I support the indie guys 100% like the uh co cult oh, musical story Rock Your Picture Show should be in everybody's collection this one too actually I really liked it Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, cool stuff. Actually, there's a commentary on that. I haven't watched that part yet. Miracle on 34th Street. It's a Christmas classic. The colorized version, and thank God the original black and white version. Actually, there's even a, a TV version of this one here as well. Spring Break. Uh, Sean Cunningham's uh, 80s sex comedy with lots of great, uh, really great uh, slam track on this one. Her body's collection. I was a real big fan of these. Yeah, they're pretty cheesy and stuff, but I like them. Uh, Dog Day Afternoons, the, uh, I think the two just special edition, yeah, but with the big documentary on it. I really enjoyed this film. Al Pacino's great in this one. Uh, classic film. Really hard to get now, actually, this version of Meatballs. And, uh, some pride. One of my pride enjoys. Not sure why I got this one. It's probably my better ass. And it's a uh, spy game. Rob Redford and uh, Brad Pitt. Not a favorite. Uh, Blade. Fun film. Not quite Hollywood. This is one of the, my favorite documentaries. Right up there with uh, Document the Dead and uh, and Never Sleep Again. It's a really cool house plantation documentary. Stanley Kubrick's Lolita. A favorite of mine. Uh, James Mason, Shelley Winters, and Peter Sellers was like eerie in this film. Highly underrated, I think, uh, 30 Days a Night. I actually really like that. Of course, a normal edition of uh, Army Darkness. Uh, Proud Find was Naked Killer when I finally get, get it. The uh, Brian Pillman Loose Cannon documentary, uh, really cool stuff. The last two in this one here are the two X-Files movies, actually. Uh, neither X-Files movies have been done really well yet. This X-Files Fight the Future and X-Files... Uh, want to Believe. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, that's my last show for tonight, but I'll be doing some more tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we'll get this done in a few days. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, right now, before I go to bed, i got to have some tea, so it really is, seriously, 100% time for tea.